Now I know. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Body Talk. This is Lolita Moore, your clinical nurse consultant. I first want to ask you to please like, subscribe, click the notification button, and share this video if it is a benefit to you. I appreciate your support, you being here, and let's get into it. This video topic is diabetes. Is there too much sugar in your blood? We talked about the A1C on a previous video and the discussion there was about getting tested to first determine whether you have diabetes. So this segment or video is going to focus more on what diabetes is, the types of diabetes, the risk factors, the signs and symptoms, and how to best manage your diabetes. Did you know that diabetes is the seventh leading cause of death in America? So this is a very serious disease. There are three types of diabetes, type 1, type 2, and gestational diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is best characterized by the body's inability to make insulin to regulate the sugar in the blood. Children and teenagers are mostly affected by type 1 and it's the lesser of the three. By percentages, there's about 10% of Americans who have type 1 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes, which is the most common form of diabetes and adults are generally affected by this disease, is best characterized by the body's inability to utilize the glucose or sugar in the blood. This is usually the result of the body not being able to produce enough insulin or it resists insulin. In both cases, type 1 and type 2 diabetes, the lack of insulin or the decline function of the insulin causes the blood sugars to be elevated in the bloodstream. And the third type of diabetes is gestational diabetes, which develops in pregnant women who never had diabetes. This generally goes away after the baby is born. However, it could increase the risk for a type 2 diabetes later for the mother, as well as it's expected for the child to possibly get diabetes. Some of the risk factors for diabetes is age, weight, being overweight, sedentary lifestyle, basically being inactive, not a person that exercise, and hereditary disposition maybe it runs in the family. So how do we know if we have diabetes? So again, this was discussed in the A1C uh, video, and so I will mention it again, that it would be a great idea to get checked, get a blood test. It's a very simple test to have performed, and it will give you your blood sugar levels. And you will know where to go from there. If you don't have it, that would be great. If you should get a positive outcome, it is recommended that you have it checked again just to confirm the diagnosis. Now, there are some cardinal symptoms or standout symptoms with diabetes when your blood sugar is elevated. So you want to kind of jot these down or keep these in mind because they're really strong indicators that you either have diabetes or or if you do not have diabetes, you will want to get checked or get tested if you should have some of these symptoms. And if you have diabetes and you're having these symptoms, chances are your blood sugar levels are extremely high. Some of the symptoms are hunger. If you should experience excessive hunger, unintentional weight loss, thirst, and dry mouth. You may experience fatigue, blurred vision, and frequent urination, which is really common when your blood sugar is elevated. You will likely experience the frequent urination. There are some triggers that can cause your blood sugars to 
rise above the normal range or even higher than what your normal is. And some of those triggers are stress. Stress has a tendency to cause your blood sugars to rise. If you're on medications like steroids, those tend to cause the blood sugar to be elevated as well as infection because infection creates a stress in the body and again stress causes the blood sugar levels to rise. Also another trigger would be inactivity. You're not burning or utilizing the glucose if you're sedentary or inactive so naturally um, your blood sugars will be elevated. There are a few other triggers such as smoking, you want to stay away from smoking if possible because the nicotine does cause the your blood sugars to rise. If you have high blood pressure, you have to be especially careful as you're managing your diabetes because diabetes can affect small blood vessels and then uh, consequently you're at risk for your high blood pressure worsening because of the need to constrict the vessels to push the blood through the body. So you want to really manage your diabetes and keep those blood sugars under control. We talked about heredity, also weight. You know, that's something else that can be managed. If you're a bit overweight, you may want to talk to your doctor about a plan of action to do weight loss. And then also drinking alcohol has some alcohol have a high percentage of sugar. So you want to stay away from that. And if you are drinking, you want to do so moderately. The main point of all of this, now that we know what diabetes is, the three types of diabetes, some of the signs and symptoms and the causes of diabetes, What's really important to know is that, again, this is a chronic disease, which means that it is long lasting and requires management. And it can, if untreated or not managed well, does get progressively worse. The goal, again, is to keep those sugar levels within a normal range, to check your A1C periodically, at least twice a year, If you're already diabetic and are at risk for excessively high blood sugars, you want to see where you are so that you can always be a step ahead and know what to do, how to make an adjustment in your care plan to ensure that your sugars are stable. Medications, if there is a challenge in keeping the blood sugar levels in a range that is recommended by your doctor, Sometimes some diabetics or people with diabetes are on pills called metformin. There are a class of medications to treat high sugar levels. Metformin is a common one. Also insulin, of course. So for type 1 diabetes, as I mentioned earlier, in that particular type of diabetes, there is no insulin being made in the body. It has been interrupted. So as a consequence, this person or people with type 1 diabetes will have diabetes, excuse me, will have to have insulin daily. So insulin is a hormone that regulates the glucose levels and it is necessary either naturally or in synthetic form, which is identical to the insulin that your body makes. So medication is one way to manage diabetes. And of course, diet. There is a meal plan that you can request from your doctor, or maybe talk to a dietitian regarding your carbs and sugars and fats and what proportions you are to eat daily to ensure that your blood sugars are not elevated and that you're not eating too much of the wrong things. Exercise is very important as well. As I mentioned earlier, activity is important to keep the weight off, to utilize the glucose or the sugar, to burn the fat, to burn the energy. So these three in tandem with each other 
makes for a great intervention if followed as instructed by your doctor can help you manage this very serious disease. Hopefully this helps. Thank you for taking the time again to visit my channel. And if the content is beneficial to you, certainly feel free to post your comments as I will be reviewing those. If you have questions, feel free to also post those questions. And for those of you who are already subscribed, again, thank you for being with me. Those of you who are new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you join our community and definitely share this video so that someone else may get the information, be informed about diabetes and how to manage it. That's it for this video. Please understand that the information on this page is for educational purposes only. It is not in any way intended to diagnose anyone's medical condition. Please contact your doctor first before trying these recommended preventive care measures. If you have a medical emergency, I strongly recommend that you call 911 or go to the nearest emergency room for further evaluation. Thank you for stopping by. Feel free to like and subscribe to my channel if this content is helpful to you. I would love to have you in our community. And always remember, when the body talk, listen, because your life depends on it.